The old man schemed to use his daughter-in-law's body to pay off debt. Wanting to buy something without paying, Mr. Lee conspired with others to rape his mentally disabled daughter-in-law, which took more than a year to be exposed. Tan Xin Lin, 44 years old, has been mentally disabled since childhood. 20 years ago, through a matchmaker, her family arranged a wedding for Lin to Lai Dao, two years older, who lives 20 kilometers away from home. Dao also has a mental disability due to the effects of a childhood illness, but knows some basic skills such as cooking porridge, doing laundry, and can communicate simply. After getting married, the couple slept in separate beds and had very little interaction. Dao only went home a few times a year, and most of the time she lived at her sister's house five kilometers away so that it would be convenient for her to go to work in the city because she could not drive herself. They have one son who is now grown. At midnight on January 19th, 2024, Lynn unexpectedly gave birth to a baby girl at home. The umbilical cord was cut by her father-in-law, Mr. Lai, 73, with scissors. Her husband's family did not know that Lynn was pregnant, saying that it was because she was wearing thick clothes in the winter that they did not realize. When asking about how to register the child's household, Dao's sister learned that a DNA test was needed to determine the blood relationship because the child was not born in a hospital. On the evening of January 26th, Dao's sister contacted Tun Dung, Lin's younger brother, to ask for help with a DNA test. At this time, Dung learned that his sister had just given birth. After the call, Dung quickly arranged for Lin and her husband to do a test. But surprisingly, the results showed that Dao was not the biological father of the girl. Lin was almost raped on February 24th, 2022, six months later. The perpetrator was sentenced to two years in prison for attempted rape, suspecting that this time she was raped and gave birth. Dung reported the incident on February 8th. Over the next month, the police investigated more than 200 men. They asked men over the age of 40 in the village to come to the Commune Committee headquarters to give blood samples. On March 23rd, Lin's father-in-law, Mr. Lai, was suddenly taken away by the police. Shortly after, Dao's younger brother was called by the police to identify the suspect. Din Khan, 58 years old, Dao's younger brother said that over the past two years, Mr. Lai had been very close to this person. Khan lived in a neighboring village, specialized in collecting scrap, and was married. According to neighbors, Mr. Lai did not interact much with the villagers. Only frequently visited Khan. Khan also often came to Mr. Lee's house to see him. Through investigation, from February 2022 to October 2023, Mr. Lai had sex with Lin at home many times. From February 2022 to July 2023, Mr. Lai also allowed Khan to have sex with Lin at his home many times, causing the victim to become pregnant and give birth on January 19th, 2024. Khan and Mr. Lai were detained by the police of Gongai City, Hunan Province, on March 23rd on suspicion of rape, and were officially arrested on March 27th. DNA testing results confirmed that Khan is the biological father of the girl. According to the Hanam Forensic Psychiatry Institute, Lin has moderate to severe mental retardation and is unable to perceive and defend herself against abuse. At the trial on September 6th, Khan testified that Mr. Lai bought many things from him, including old refrigerators, televisions, and tricycles, but always owed money. One morning in February 2022, Mr. Lee's two sons were not home, so Khan went to collect scrap. Mr. Lai told Khan to have sex with his daughter-in-law to pay off the debt. This lasted until July 2023. Khan would come to Mr. Lee's house every half month or 20 days usually in the morning when Mr. Lee's children were not at home. A total of more than 20 times, Mr. Lai would call Lin to another room to meet Khan, while he would guard the gate, or wander around the yard to prevent others from approaching. In order to continue his relationship with Lin, Khan gave Mr. Lai dozens of kilos of wheat, along with a microwave and other items. When collecting scrap, Khan would occasionally give him a few extra coins to please Mr. Lai. Mr. Lai admitted that Khan gave him a TV, refrigerator, and washing machine in March 2022 and 2023. 
Kung gave him three microwaves, a three-wheeled electric vehicle, and a bag of noodles. On September 30th, the court ruled that Mr. Lee and Khan were guilty of rape and each was sentenced to five years in prison. Khan was ordered to compensate the victim for 9.379 yuan in postnatal care, nutrition, and other economic losses. After the case, local authorities supported Lin's family in registering a household registration and health insurance for the girl and continued to monitor and assist within the scope of their responsibility. Dung believes that if the household registration for the girl had not encountered any problems, Lin's husband's family would not have contacted him and the case would never have been exposed. According to Dung, neither family can deny responsibility for this series of events. Dung blames himself for not visiting his sister more often and not installing surveillance cameras at the live family home sooner. After the rape, in addition to the surveillance cameras installed by the police, Dung installed five cameras in the yard, inside his sister's room, and outside the gate. In addition, Dung also installed a layer of steel gate with magnetic card access outside the first gate, the purpose of which was to give Lin a safe space to operate. Dung said, I do these things just to let the villagers know, so that in the future no one will dare to bully or look down on them. If you found this interesting and helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to motivate our channel to create even more great videos. See you all in the next videos. And wishing you joyful moments and exciting discoveries.